Hey guys, it's your girl Tina here. Today I'm gonna to be trying on rental bridal dresses from Bride Philly Yours. I have seven beautiful gowns here. I actually rented two of their bridal dresses for my pre-wedding shoot in Japan and it was amazing. And so I just thought, you know, let's relive it a little bit and try on some beautiful gowns. Before we get started with the fashion show, I want to give a big thanks to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. As someone who's gone through lots of ups and downs through life, I really value my mental health. It's something I wish I focused more on when I was younger. But in saying that, it's never too late to get yourself back on track. If there's something interfering with your happiness or preventing you from reaching your goal, BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with a licensed professional therapist and you can start communicating within 48 hours. It's not a crisis line, it's not self-help, it is professional therapy done securely online and available to clients worldwide. You can get access to over 20,000 therapists in BetterHelp's network, covering a range of expertise which may not be available to you locally. You can log into your account anytime and send a message to your therapist. You'll get timely and thoughtful responses, plus you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions in the comfort of your own home. To ensure you get the best help available, BetterHelp makes it easy and free for you to change therapists at any time so you can find the right one for you. It's more affordable than traditional offline therapy and financial aid is available. BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today. Get 10% off your first month at BetterHelp slash Tina Yong. That's Better H E L P and join over 1 million people taking charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. To make it easier, I'll leave the link for you guys below. Now back to our fashion show. Okay, guys, this is the first gown I have on. It is like a V neck, it's a bit of a plunge V neck, it's got straps and the sort of like silhouette or the shape, I, I'd say it's like a little bit more like a mermaid. It's a little bit more fitted and then it flares out and then we've got this lovely train behind me. Whew. Believe it or not, this is one of the more simple dresses I've picked out today. I really like all the embellishments up top here. And then here, there's a little bit of a mesh, so it kind of keeps that part enclosed. So even though it's like a plunge v-neck, it's still very secure and there's built-in pads like bra pads which I think most of them have. The bottom section is a little bit more plain and simple. It's just got that white material and on the actual train itself there is some really nice flower embroidery. Thank you Alfred, thank you. Thank you sir, just fix my train up. You're professional. <laughs> what do you think of this dress? Do you like it? Yeah, that's nice. Would you cry if you saw me walking down there? I mean, he looks fine. I don't think this is like cry worthy. But I must say it is one of the lighter wedding dresses I've tried on. Even though it has a long train, it's still manageable. You can go to the toilet on your own with this. The thing is with wedding dresses, it takes a while to get one on. So thank you. Thank you for helping me then. How was your mission? We can see your legs, but it's fine. <laughs> it's nice to know that you're there. Let me get up on my pedestal. You know at the bridal like store they'll have a little platform for you to stand on so then you know it looks like you're super tall. Wow, look look at that look at these skills. <laughs> Thanks, boo. This one is a little bit itchy. Actually they're all a little bit itchy just because of the embellishments, but it is okay because this one looks really pretty on. It's got that sweetheart neckline, it's strapless, it's a little bit more fitted here. I don't know, is this like what shape would we call this one, guys? Is it a mermaid or is it like a trumpet? I don't know. I don't work at the bridal store, but I like I like this. I think it's form-fitting. It's giving me shape around the waist. You can definitely get this part tighter as well if you like, you know, really pull the strings at the back. Again, this is one of the lighter dresses, okay? Because there is a train, but it's not super heavy. I feel very expensive in this. I feel like a million bucks. What do we think, Alfred? Did you like this one more or the other one? Like, do you like strapless mm. or you like the V-neck, plunge V-neck? I like this one. You like this one more, okay. The train on this one has layers of different lace and embroidery on top, so it is quite elegant. It's really, really pretty and it's light as well. Also, there's boning here, so it's giving me structure, but I don't know if you can like see it, but it's actually see-through here and it has like nude um, bra cups so it looks like it looks like you can see a little bit of my skin all over you know what I mean? 
This one is very sexy, guys. Very sexy. You could see my sexy leg, my little short legs peeping through. Are we ready, Alfred? Are we ready? <laughs> I think you'll cry if you see me walking down with this. I think you'd be happy. Okay, you guys ready? Because this is this is sexy. Whoa, look at that. Yes. I just realized how short my legs are. So this dress, I don't know, like the padding on this, it's like double padded or something. It's solid and it is like really lifting me up. You know what I mean? My girls are closer to God. The slit is very, very sexy. It's not too high though. You know what I mean? Like it's just like that nice, nice piece of leg hanging out. I think it's very, very, very sexy. Still elegant though. This one also has like a plunge v-neck with a little bit of mesh here. So that mesh is keeping it in place. It's also very fitted around the waist. So it's giving me like more of an hourglass figure. I'm loving this. It's also very comfortable because there's straps. So, you know, throughout the day, you don't have to be worrying about like pulling your dress up or anything. The back is probably almost going to pop guys because this is kind of tight on me, but it is a low, low plunge back. I better not pop it. It's expensive. I don't want to ruin their dress. I better not breathe. I'm gonna just close that up so you don't see my little short legs. What do we think of this one, guys? What do we think? Is it like too sexy? Alfred, is it too sexy or it's okay? They're not my. What, don't you like sexy? You don't like sexy? Class. Oh, you want classy. <laughs> he wants classy. Very well. I do really like it though. Oh, I feel very womanly. Zen's like, yeah. <laughs> Zen's <laughs> like, yeah, boobies for everyone. I'm kind of like, Siding with Zen in this, I feel I'm feeling myself. You know what I mean? I feel hot. No, literally, I actually feel so hot because it's so tight on me. I don't want to pop it. The train on this is also really pretty. It's similar to the last one in that it has layers of like the lace and then the embroidery on top. Oh, I can breathe again. Whew, I can breathe. Pause it. I shouldn't have had lunch. <laughs> You could actually add that on your CV. Bridal Wedding assistant. Bridal dress assistant. Bride bitch. Bride bitch. <laughs> hey, this is Zen, your bride bitch. I'm gonna help you find a dress today. I'm gonna dress you. Are we running out of string? I think we're running out of string. Look, you might have to skip a couple loops because clearly this is not my size. <laughs> yeah, we might have to just skip the bottom. Wow, we're running out of string for real. Okay. Do not mind the back, guys. Don't mind the back. I can just kind of wear it. This one makes, makes me look good even if I'm not standing on the thing. But, I mean, let's just stand on it, obviously. But this one's nice. This one's like Cinderella. This one's like, what do you call this shape? Oh, A-line. This is an A-line dress, yes. A for Alfred. Do you like this? It's starting to look very similar to me. What do you mean? I think this is more of like a ball gown dress actually. It's quite um, full around like the, the waist and it really has a lot of volume. You can see that, oh my God, it makes my waist look tiny. Tiny waist. Tina has a tiny waist. <gasps> That's so pretty. This one is really pretty. Oh my God, I feel so girly. Do you know what I mean? I feel like a princess because it's so puffy. Surprisingly, this dress isn't very heavy. Even though there's so many layers at the bottom. Let's count the layers. One, two. Oh my god, there's like a glittery layer. Three, four, five. Are you kidding me? It's more. Six. I'm gonna say there's probably like seven, eight, maybe eight to ten layers or something. It's it's some serious puff happening down here, guys. The sparkly one is really pretty. Can you see that? There's this sparkly layer underneath. It just makes this dress look so magical. Like, hello, where's my Prince Charming? He's sitting here playing games. Your food coming? Well, I'm feeling myself. This one is really pretty. I think I like this one the most out of everything. And it's kind of strange because normally I don't really go for something so sweet and feminine and super girly. But I think this dress, it's just gonna be something very timeless and Look at my girls. Look at them. Hello. Zen really likes this one. I like the detail. Yeah. Like the... Alfred has left the building. Oh, that's better. 
Better view. Better view. So you had, he had to stay, take a couple steps back. It's nice. It's nice. Yeah, so the detailing here is really pretty. You can kind of see that the lace kind of overlaps a little bit. It looks really delicate, even up here. So you get that nice sweetheart neckline, but then it's a little bit more jazzed up with the lace parts. I feel so elegant and girly. I feel like Cinderella. I am Cinderella. At midnight, I must return these rental dresses. Okay, next, next, next. I don't want to get out of this one. It's so tight though. It's so tight, it's so tight. I will endure it though, for this dress. Ugh, I can't breathe. Okay. I'm scared to exhale. <laughs> oh my God, you're so warm. I'm sweating, I'm sweating. <sighs> Remain calm. If I go purple, it's because the dress is cutting off my circulation. <laughs> To the back of me. Oh, this front is so. Yeah, that's uh, the back. That's the back. This dress is taking my breath away and not <laughs> for good reasons. This is really tight, guys. Okay, we'll make this one quick. This one, it has like a, a plunge v neck and it's got an extra layer of lace, so you do show a little bit more skin. Zen initially she said she'd she love this one on the rack, but on me, I think it's true. She says it's making me look a little bit wider up top because of these straps as well. I mean, I don't mind it because you still see, you still get a lot of volume down here, so up top is still gonna be a lot smaller than down there. <sighs> trying not to, trying not to make any sudden movements because I ripped this. We've got to eat me going for the rest of like the month. Yeah, if it was like, if it was like this, right? If my, my, if it was like, <laughs> <laughs> Alfred, what do we think of this dress? I concur. It concur with what I've been saying or yes. you like it? Okay. What are you, freaking Leonardo? I concur. Do you concur? It's got rhinestones here. So it does, I don't know. Does it look sparkly on camera? Can you see that? And the sparkles sort of like, they trickle off. And then the train on this, again, has that layer of sparkliness underneath though. So it's not too in your face. It's very subtle. It's probably gonna leave glitter everywhere. Super long train. So are you saying you wouldn't remember my wedding dress? Cause wedding dresses aren't memorable cause they're all white dresses. Yes. I'm gonna have to buy a black wedding dress. This one actually feels comfortable. As in like, it's probably it more like my size. size, yeah. Okay, okay. Woo! <laughs> it's not heavy, I'm just a bit drunken on wedding dresses. Oh wow, wow, look at that. I think I like this one more too. Okay, so the ball, other the strapless ball gown, it looked pretty as well, but I think I do like the, the straps on this and the lace, look at that, it's just like, wrapped around my body the body like the naked look. yeah it's giving me that naked look but i'm not naked zen's like ah the naked look wow look at that i do really like the nude layer underneath because it does give off a very sexy feel but look it's not it's not you know too revealing or anything and the straps make it more secure this is also like a ball gown dress you can see that it's got a lot of volume around here at the bottom and it's very tight and fitted up top so again i feel very girly you know what i mean i feel like a princess ready for my prince charming if he wasn't playing best fiends you like it? Yeah. Where's your tears? I always like get so choked up when I see the groom cry in wedding videos. But then I look at Alfred and he's playing games. So <laughs> that's what I got to work with, guys. Will you cry if you see me walk down the aisle in this dress? Maybe. Maybe because, or maybe not because you don't really remember what different wedding dresses I've tried on. What if you saw me crying? I'm a, oh, that's, that's very sweet. No, nah, I wouldn't cry. I'm not gonna ruin my makeup. <laughs> Not pain to get my makeup done and then crying in it. Anyways, back to this dress. I think it's a lovely dress. I think so far, I'd have to say this is probably definitely up there. You know, I do like the other ball gown one too. This one, it's just got this different sexy element to it, but very sort of secure, not really showing much, and probably something I could wear all day. This one's an easy one to get out. You can just unzip me. No, I gotta take out the thing. Oh no, I lied. It was a lace-up strappy one. This is already giving me Cinderella vibes. 
guys are really lucky they just have to rock up they just have to have a shower do their hair and wear their like tux or whatever are we almost there no because i am uh, like i can i can feel when your back fat gathers up and creates a crack right in the center the back crack a back crack maybe you have to do all that ties in <laughs> but there won't be enough string <laughs> I can't even take a deep breath in, I've got to take a half breath. Okay, I'll skip the last one. Just, just skip the last one because I, I don't think I can survive. Alfred, could you see your foot hanging out? Good job. We did it! This dress is so heavy compared to the rest. This is the heaviest, the fullest probably. Oh my gosh. Me picking it up doesn't even pick it up completely off the floor. Wow, this is very stiff. Huh? The material is different. This one's got like a, a more structured material. It's a little bit stiffer. I think because of the... Sh Can you not? Are you looking underneath? <laughs> Having a peek. Having a peek. Wow. What's that layer? That's the other dress. Oh, it's the other dress? No, it's the same dress. It's the back of it. The back of it. Oh, yeah. Pull to the back. Pull to the back. Cinderella vibes much? Cinderella vibes? The Little Mermaid vibes. The Little Mermaid vibes, yeah! Like, it looks like the shell, and then like, you know like the little shell? The little shell like detailing. The, sea. <laughs> the seaweed crawling up my bodice. Can you jump? No. That's the thing with pretty dresses. The off-the-shoulder detailing looks very nice and elegant, but when it comes to putting your hands up in the air on the dance floor, you cannot. You cannot. Wow. I look. My waist looks tiny in this dress, doesn't it? Because of all that amazing puffy volume down here, my waist looks snatched. Snatched. That's the word. Snatched. What do we think of this one? This one doesn't show a lot of cleavage like the other one So I do feel like this one I feel more comfortable with that You know sometimes when it's too sexy I just worry my mom's gonna be like <gasps> You know and then like you know I don't want to see my, my dad my brother seeing that sort of stuff So this one it is more covered up at the front But it's still sexy because it's got that off the shoulder design You can see the lace detailing around here and the boning it's also beaded and the sequence all over, so it's very detailed. Do you like this one, dude? Do you like it the most, though, or no? Up there. It's up there? It's up there. It's also up there. It's probably my top three of the dresses. Though, you know, I did like the really sexy slit one, too. So, you know, I can go either way with, with dresses. This is a princess dress. It's a princess dress. And I feel like you have to have a very extravagant wedding you know like a big wedding reception with hundreds of people to have something this extravagant i think i'm a little bit more simple actually but i do like it i do like it for photos i think something with this much volume would be great the train on this everything is just very next level with this dress it's a lot heavier there's also a number of layers and the material is more structured so it holds the shape more it's also very heavy it's very heavy. Okay guys, we have come to the end of this try on haul. I think I like most of the ball gown dresses, which is so like not me. I thought I would like something a bit more mermaid, which I do. I like the sexy number, but I think I like the ball gown dresses. I don't know, maybe I went from being a simple girl and now I'm just extra, you know? Let me know which dress you guys like the best. Alfred, what's your verdict? Yeah, I like that one the most. You like this one the most? The most covered up one. <laughs> the most expensive one. The most expensive, yes, 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 that is me. Mm -hmm. Big thanks to Bridefully Yours for letting me borrow their dresses for this video. Also, if you guys are new here, don't forget to click subscribe and remember to turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any future videos that I post. And I shall speak to you guys next time. Bye! Okay, I need to breathe. Then you gotta get me out of this before I rip it. <laughs>